Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Thursday evening. Hope you're well. Hope you've enjoyed the day and whatever it is you're up to today, I hope it wasn't too bad and it wasn't too stressful. And if it is and it was, there's always tomorrow, I promise. We're talking a little bit around the January Charter window and what really to expect and kind of what style of player we might be uh, might be looking at, which I find very interesting and, and it will start to put to bed a few transfer rumours that we've been... Uh, We've been involved in so plenty to get into there as well as a bit of an update on kind of where we are prioritizing ourselves a little bit not a lot but a little bit okay so plenty to get into plenty to digest just want to say if you're new subscribe you're very much welcome to join the journey there you go i know you did it you're too kind right let's jump in it came from sky sports news and uh by the way, I found this through spurs express by the way on twitter good page go have a little uh follow if you are interested or X, not Twitter. They said that Tottenham will concentrate on signing top young talent in the January transfer window as Ange Postacoglu looks to develop his plans for a squad built in his image. Spurs want to add depth to the group and are looking at three main positions to strengthen. Starting with a centre-back, then potentially a left winger and central midfielder. There is a preference for players under the age of 24. Now, um, a few things to digest in that. Okay, so let me start first and foremost with the uh, the preference of players that are basically under the age of 24. The reason is normally they've um, they've not reached like their big contract. So they're still very hungry. They're still before their prime, easy to enhance and train up and coach. So don't mind that. And you know, when we look at the fact they want to add depth to the group, looking at three main positions to strengthen being centre-back, left wing and central midfielder, I think in that order is where... A, no, I'd probably say central midfielder ahead of left left winger, but I'd say, in theory, the centre back will be the main position we need to look at sorting out ASAP. It's not one of those that let's leave it to the twenty eighth of January because by that point we probably dropped quite a few more points, and when we want to fight for you know I think Spurs fans talk about the title. Let's just let's just worry about the Champions League. That's where we will want to be, and if we want to be in there then we've got to be honest, then we've got to actually act in January, getting the positions that we really, truly need. And centre-back will be probably the top of that list, purely because of the fact that we've got Romero, fantastic. We've got Mickey, fantastic, but injured. And that's about it. So we need at least one more to give us a little bit of depth before we hit a Emerson, Davies, Phillips, Dorrington, Dyer situation, right? On the central midfielder, you all know, and I all know, and I all know, but I know that we need one because obviously Basuma's off to Afcon, and Pape Massa off to Afcon. Madison's injured, Bentancur's injured. We've got four people gone, fairly long term because the Afcon boys can go up to about six seven weeks. Uh, Madison won't be back probably till well into January. Bentancur won't be back probably into March. So when you look at that, it's like right, okay. We, we need a centre midfielder because when you look at it, you've got Gio, happy with Gio. You've got Pierre, I'm happy with Pierre in spurts. And then you've got Skip. I think we need a centre mid, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and then when you look at the attacker situation, you're losing Son for obviously that time away of international duty. So you're looking six, seven weeks potentially, maybe. You've got Richie, who's probably going to be playing the Son role. You've got Klusevsky. Mr. Iron Man himself playing right wing. You've got Johnson playing left wing. So it's not a huge dip. But then you've got behind him, you've got Brian Hill. You've got Solomon, who I hope will be back within that realm of time of being January, February time. And then you've got nothing really else. So you see, we still need another one there. And that's why, you know, when Sky Sports News talked about how Spurs are looking at Samuel Illing Jr., this is what I need you guys to understand. We are definitely looking at Samuel Illing Jr. It's not something that... It's hogwash or a bunch of nonsense. We are definitely in the Samuel Willing Jr. market. We need something there. We need some form of attacker. We need a left wing attacker. It's not a right wing attacker that we need. We need a left wing. So that's why we'll be in that realm. When we look at the centre back situation, and uh, they kind of added um discuss what you was talking about, how Spurs' top centre back targets will be your Mark Gray, your Jared Branthway, and obviously Jean Claire de Debo, which I've always said John claire Tadebo is the guy that I want, but I've got a part of me thinking about Palace's Mark Gway situation. Hear me out. Palace should be safe, with or without Mark Gway. They should be. You've got Eze, you've got Elise, you've got Andersons, you've got 
uh, Johnstons. You've got players that are good Premier League players in that in that group, and I'm, that's just to name a couple, right? Palace realistically wanting sixty million for Mark Gray is not going to happen, okay? But they'll look at Ben White's deal to Arsenal for fifty million and go, but can we get fifty? And then it makes you think. Okay, they might want 50, but how do you, as Spurs, as Spurs, how do you bring that price down? If that's who you want, right? Well, you've got Eric Dyer that maybe you can send on loan for six months. Maybe. You know, that means they don't have to worry about a replacement there and then. They can still get a replacement with some money or what have you. Okay, right. English Prem Proven as well. You Okay, okay, that's, that's another bonus to it. Okay, well, if you send Dyer that way for six months, but if they don't like him, they're not, they're not on the hook for him. Maybe that brings down the price a few quid, right? You're not going to bring the price down 20 million with that. You bring it bring it down a few million. Is there a player that you could send the other way? I don't know who it would be, but potentially you could send a player the other way as well and bring it down. Unless it will be a loan deal, die going the other way. Maybe you save yourself off of the initial fee, like 10 million. Maybe then pay 40 million in the summer. Because I think you're more likely to get him because he's been loyal to Palace and he's probably due that move now than you would a Jared Branthwaite who Everton now are in a deep relegation zone. Zone? Zone. It's like Sean Connery coming in here talking to you, lads. Uh, but because obviously the point deduction, I think you'll probably find you're not going to get him because of that. Mark Gray is more likely to come. Obviously, Tadebo's the guy that I want out of the three. And I think this one thing that Spurs need to get kind of... And these are some fans. I'm not saying it's all of you, by the way. I don't want you to think that I'm picking on anyone in particular. But one thing I would say is Spurs kind of need to get this idea of the... He's not coming to sit on the bench. He, he won't want to come here. won't want to come here. Competition for places is a real thing. Stepping up to the big clubs, there's always going to be other defenders there that are good. You don't just walk in and continue like you would at Palace or continue like you would at a Nice. So you've got to back yourself there. And if you don't back yourself... Are you really going to ever kick on to be a top flight centre back? But also the other thing I would say is he's going to get time. Romero misses time. Van der Ven's already picked up a big injury, and he's due. He, he does pick up. He picked up a big hamstring injury when he was at Wolfsburg as well. But also not only that. Again, next season when we're playing twice, three times a week, you're going to get game time, and we need to get this idea of we've got two main centre half, then we have backups. No, just have four centre halves. Doesn't have to be a backup situation. Have four centre halves who. You want to play Romero and Van der Ven that time. You want to play this guy and this guy another time. And you want to play this guy and Romero another time. Get an idea around your head that that could be an idea. That's how big clubs do it. That's how, I mean, you look at Arsenal. Ben White's playing right back, but he's a centre-half. Gabriel, Saliba, right? Um, obviously, Yuri and Timber's another one in there as well. Quite, I quite like Timber as well. You look at Manchester City. Gavardio, who's playing left-back. Nathan Aku who plays a little bit of left-back as well. You've got Stones, who's playing centre defence mid at the moment, which is a bit mental. You've got um, Akanji. You've got Ruben Diaz. You know, Liverpool have got Canate, Matip, Van Dijk. Van Dijk's the main guy there, but those two inter interchange a lot. And obviously, I heard Matip's done a big injury, uh, like, like, I think it was yesterday. So Canate's playing a bit more there. Joe Gomez might play a little bit more in the centre-half area. He played right back. So you can see, you, you're supposed to have options. We can't just have two guys and then a massive drop-off. That's not a good team. You know, but anyway, guys, then if you hope you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. If you did, hit me in the comment section. Like your thoughts, feelings about what player clientele that we're looking at, the news that we're definitely in for Samuel Willing Jr., as well as the list of centre halves that we've been interested in. We know your thoughts and feelings about them all. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, then the video. I'll see you all very very soon. Take care, guys.